we see that the breakdown here is quite significant. We see that the breakdown here starts to diminish. We're seeing that on the next bar here, again, diminishing thrust to the downside and diminishing progress at the close to the downside. And then after Friday, we don't commit to the downside. So this is much, much stronger than NASDAQ, for sure. Then secondly, this bar almost acts as a test now to the Friday bar. And I wonder if we tomorrow have a day up like this, how would we be interpreting this whole picture? We probably would be saying that there was an attempt to go down, it sprained below this low, it tested on today's bar, and then it started covering the ground to the upside. We most definitely need to see as a confirmation the break of Friday's high and the break of Thursday's high and intrusion into these two bars right here. So something like this, where we go up, maybe another day down, but smaller, where selling just diminishes uh, you know, more, and then continuation to the upside. So and that would produce some kind of recovery uh, to the upside and at least bring us you know, to this level right here, to this resistance. Let me give you, if I could find, you know, very quick examples of this. So, for instance, you could say, like, this bar had some demand tail behind it. So, some buying after selling started to slightly diminish. Then we have this bar right here that is a test. And see how bearish it looks. But selling is diminishing and it doesn't produce the result. We'll talk today about the effort versus results. So it kind of reminds me of this. The close of this bar did not commit below the low, uh, which is uh, basically tells us that even though there is some supply, but it's incapable of pushing the price down.